The Justice Department has unsealed the federal indictment against former President Donald Trump. The document outlines the government's case and the criminal counts Trump now faces. That development comes as sources tell ABC News a Trump aide is also facing a federal indictment. ABC's Justin Finch has the story. The Justice Department unsealing his 49-page indictment, accusing former President Donald Trump of 37 felony counts in the Mar-a-Lago classified records probe. His aide, Walt Nada, also charged in the case, accused of allegedly helping to hide documents. Special counsel Jack Smith inviting Americans to read the indictment, which prosecutors say shows Trump was personally involved in the willful retention of government records after leaving office and then obstructed authorities' efforts to retrieve them. The indictment alleges while President Trump gathered classified documents and other materials in boxes, including information regarding defense and weapons capabilities of both the United States and foreign countries, United States nuclear programs, potential vulnerabilities of the United States and its allies to military attack, and plans for possible retaliation in response to a foreign attack. Our laws that protect national defense information are critical to the safety and security of the United States, and they must be enforced. The charging document, including images, prosecutors say show those sensitive records were unsecured, alleging they were improperly stashed in a bathroom, a ballroom, and a shower at Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate and private club. The prosecution also detailing two instances in which they say Trump showed military documents to people without security clearances. One time in a meeting with a team working on a book, prosecutors say they have Trump's own words on tape telling the group he still has a sensitive document that he never declassified. Trump took to his social media platform to clear his own name. I'm innocent and we will prove that very, very soundly and hopefully very quickly. Trump plans to resume campaigning for the Republican presidential nomination with an event tomorrow and then Tuesday is scheduled for arraignment in Miami federal court. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington.